How's it going, guys? Uh, as you can see in front of you, we have my uh, Sentry Arms RAS 47, or the Red Army Standard AK-47. And uh, this is a fantastic rifle, and for those of you guys that have followed my channel, you've already seen that I did a review on this not too long ago. And for those of you guys that saw that review, you've seen that this rifle has actually changed a bit. Uh, we've done an upgrade to it, and that is that we've put on the Zukov stock here on the back. When I purchased this rifle from JNGSales.com, it came with the Magpul MOE stock. What a fantastic stock this really is. Uh, it comes with that uh, you know storage compartment there in there, so it's a really nice um, use of space there from Magpul. You can also build the comb up here, the, the cheek rest build it up it's got uh, QD sling mounts regular sling mounts just a really really nice uh, lightweight robust stock um, but what it doesn't what a fixed stock doesn't give me okay that I that I really look for in any kind of type of this rifle so any kind of a carbine or a defensive gun um, I really uh, really feel like um, I need a collapsible stock and the reason why that is is because um, what, a, what a collapsible stock gives you is it gives you adaptability, okay? So it gives you the ability to adapt uh, between users. I'm not the only person that actually shoots my, my weapons. Uh, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of my members of my family that shoot. And what this does is it gives me the ability to adapt it between users. It also gives you the, the adaptability when it comes to um, different clothing types and situational types. So like, uh, for instance, you know, going prone and going um, shooting standing, uh, the length of pull requirements for those two positions are different. Uh, and, a, and a fixed stock does not allow you to really accommodate uh, those two positions uh, equally well. Where a collapsible stock will give Give you that that option. The other thing is that as uh, uh, the the user changes. I mean, the fixed stock is a fixed stock, but the user, even the same person, will change over time. So, for instance, um, in the summertime you got light clothing. In the wintertime you'll have heavy heavy clothing, and so your length of pull will change. Um, just by what you're wearing uh, from time to time. So, I mean, having the ability to adapt with a collapsible stock for me is, uh, is a very, very important thing. Now, the Zukov is, um, let, me, let me show you guys a couple little things. Uh, compare it here next, next to the, um, we'll compare it right up next to the, the MOE here. If we put these guys together at the same at the receiver, you can see that the uh, Zukov stock is about a half inch shorter overall uh, than the the fixed uh, Magpul stock. And what that does is. Um, you know, the AK is a forward heavy rifle. Most of the weight is the front part of the rifle. And and so this stock is actually a little bit heavier. So we've got 15 ounces on this one and 12 and a half ounces on the MOE. So you're actually adding a little bit of weight to the overall rifle. However, you know, with that half inch overall length of pull, and if you remove uh, the rubber here in the back, you'll actually get even a little bit more than that. What that does is it brings the overall weight of the rifle closer to the body, half inch closer. And that may not seem like a lot to you, but to me, it actually makes a huge difference. It makes the gun a lot easier to, to actually wield, to hold up and to heft. And so bringing that closer into the body really makes a difference. So uh, that's one nice thing about the overall length of that. Now, what it does is um, you have this catch here in the back, okay? And it will pull the stock out to its extended position. And what it does is it has five positions. So it has the full open position, and then we'll move it in here. One, whoops, two, three. So, and then you have the fully closed. So you actually have five position. You have fully closed, three in between, and then fully open. And so you have a five positional stock. You also have QD slings, regular sling mounts. Um, I think that's a QD sling up front here too. Uh, so you've got those, those mounting options, you, but you also have the ability for it to fold to the side. And then you can also fire the, the, the rifle in the folded configuration. So um, if you're confined to a vehicle or something like that, or inside a house and you're, you need more more uh, maneuverability, uh, that side folder can be a huge, huge benefit. And one of the nice things about it is this stock is completely solid. When it's open, there's, n there's zero wiggle. They built it very, very nice and very robustly. It has some nice little detents on the side that don't 
make it hard to uh, open or, or to open the stock at all. It's a little bit difficult. You have to really press that button down in there in order for it to, to collapse. Um, but that doesn't really necessarily matter. Uh, it's, but it's very easy to get it back into, into action. So um, the installation was fairly easy. You have a, a screw right here through the top. And then you also have um, a, another tang screw on the inside. And then you have a tensioning screw right here in the very back. Uh, it's very, very easy. I mean, I didn't really film the installation of this, um, but it's if you follow the instructions, it's really, really simple to install. Um, anybody really can do it. So so anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you uh, the Zukov stock and, and talk a little bit about why I decided to go with it. I actually, when the overall looks of the rifle, I actually like uh, the looks of the MOE, MOE stock much better than the, the Zukov stock. Um, but uh, the overall function of the Zukov stock wins out for sure. Like it's, it definitely uh, makes the rifle a lot more usable for me. So, so we're actually going to do a lot more updates to this rifle as time goes on. As money allows and time allows, uh, we're going to actually do some more updating and upgrading to this rifle. So don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the Raz 47 as time goes on. If you guys have any questions about uh, either of these stocks or if you own these stocks, please let us know how, how you like them, how they're, how they're running for you, and uh, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you do like what you see, and don't forget, guys, to um, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Instagram is really the place to follow us if you want to see us outside of YouTube. Uh, so yeah, so hit us up on that. So, But anyway, guys, I really, really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.